if you are so sure that what you want, it is 100% sure that it's the only thing that you deserve and you're going for it and you're becoming that person, the universe will have nothing else to say that, yes, I will grant it for you at a perfect time. Hey guys, welcome to our Soul Fan podcast where I interview space holders from all over the world. I'm your host, my name is Carolina, and I am the Connection Catalyst. I help spiritual entrepreneurs experience deeper connection with themselves, with others, and with the universe. Today on the show, we have Borja Yas, the hypnotherapist. Welcome to the show, Borja. How are you doing? Thank you so much. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me and, and creating this space. I think it's an awesome space that is every entrepreneur is going to enjoy for sure amazing i'm super excited to talk to you because uh, to those who listen we just met literally yesterday on this beautiful meetup spiritual entrepreneurs malaga because uh, now i'm in spain uh, currently and it's been just so beautiful to connect with so many uh, people and i'm so excited to talk to you because even yesterday i wanted to ask you about your story and how and your spiritual awakening or you know everything behind what you're doing right now but i was just like okay i'm just gonna leave it for the podcast and let's just share it with everyone else as well uh, so that's the first question I want to ask you. What what has inspired you to dive into this work and really awakened you to the higher self? So I, I actually I'm going to share share something um, exclusively here with you. First time online. It's like uh, totally you know like I went. I'm going to go all in with your interview and with everybody. I hope it provides a um, a lot of you know um, meaning and uh, insights to people. Uh, so I went through a lot of uh, dark places in my life, in my childhood, you know, that I went through bullying and um, I was very introvert, um, I didn't have like, um, I was not feeling like ex accepted and all that. I had a, a very strong childhood and um, in my 21st years of my life were really uh, very hard, <laughs> I would say. So there was a, a two times or um, I was thinking to become, to to remove my, my, I mean, leave this planet and go to, to another dimension. I was not happy with life. I was, uh, I was definitely very unhappy for many, many years. Um, and that's what I wanted to share because uh, people know my, my side where I'm very positive. I'm very uh, radical positive now. Um, I, I help people, um, you know, and transform their, their beliefs and, and their negative thinking. Uh, to become their best version, but I had to do that with my with myself before. I'm a transgender man, <laughs> you know, so that means, um, well, I, I grew up with a female body, and um, and I had to go several uh, body transformation, mental transformation, in order to become my my true self, uh, the one that I feel that is is the happiest version. Um, I feel that it's connected to my my spiritual awakening, like on a higher level. And, uh, and mm. I remember you uh, uh, talking yesterday about the connection um, of the brain in hemisphere of the brain, uh, the left side and the right side. So I, I have a very strong connection with that because I know uh, how many of us just use one side predominantly and that's um, pushed by society also. Uh, gender roles have a lot to do with that and, and other misconceptions that we're taught when we're uh, growing up so I, I in my um, transformation our physical mental emotional like really getting in, in deep uh, connection with myself and my my deep emotions I have uh, reached a point where I, I, I know I have um, my left hemisphere and my right hemisphere are probably very very close or I will say uh, maximum equilibrium where I feel my uh, feminine energy and my masculine energy are really very equal and I think equilibrium and I believe that is the highest point where that deep spiritual transformation that I'm still uh, I'm still transcending and, and living but uh, that was a turning point mm. wow thank you so much for sharing that i know that it's very vulnerable and very it's a sensitive topic to to share both yeah. suicidal state and uh, you know your transformation that you've gone yeah. through and actually sure. i watched um, 
one of the videos of my mentor, Teal Swan, um, and she was talking about uh, transgender people and she was saying how for these people, the biggest lesson in here on earth is authenticity and authentic self-expression because it's like such a choice it, that your soul made to come to this earth and to actually like, you know, feel differently, but then be in a different body. And like, there's such a misalignment that then you need to send up for yourself and be authentic to yourself and actually like really just really go hardcore on authenticity in a way right it's even more hardcore than any other person uh, that it doesn't feel this kind of misalignment so that that's good for you and i'm so proud of you that you are where you're at because you don't look like someone who was introverted you know uh, you just look like someone who was always positive and always said everything good in their lives so uh, that's really really great the transformation that you have you have gone through because obviously i mean i i'm sure that you sometimes have ups and downs because everyone does but you know being being just uh, positively positively approach approaching life and everything and that's really really great and i guess you know uh, there's a lot of questions that came to my mind when you were speaking so first of all like if you had to give let's say the most important piece of advice actually both to people who maybe are transgender and who struggle with it uh, like in terms of like maybe speaking up for yourself or actually like going through this whole transformation and also the same question for the people who are suicidal like what's your number one advice to these people because i feel like there is a lot of them who maybe don't know how to handle life in a way you know and it's it's hard for them so how would you help them what would you say to them first you know one one group and then the second group of people <laughs> I mean, for the transgender people, there was a time in the United States where I started coaching um, on the side with my uh, formal um, self job, you know, where I was helping the LGBT community on the side, just as it was more like a hobby, but people were telling me, you have to do that and all that. But you know what? I don't really uh, feel like I, I don't feel like we have to tag uh, a specific group of people uh, and I don't really, like, I have friends, uh, all type of friends, like uh, heterosexual, bisexual, transgender, mm, lesbians, all that. For me, just human, humans. I wanna, I, I like to, I like to share that, you know, that we're just humans, we wear souls, you know, and, and, and I, of course I feel masculine, you know, and, and I believe everyone have the right to choose uh, what they feel and how they want to portray themselves and, and, and you know, it's just respect each other, you know, and, and allow for each other to, to fulfill their, their, their desires and, and, and the, what they want, how they want to express themselves, you know. So for the first question that you asked me, how will I advise for the transgender people? First of all, I would say, um, remember that you are a soul that deserves to be happy. You know what I mean? Like uh, before society tell you what you're supposed to to be, and um, and how, how how can you behave or not or or achieve or not achieve? We're just a uh, soul having a human experience, and we deserve to be happy. So I don't care <laughs> if you are um, a woman, a man, a dog, an old person, younger person, a transgender, or lesbian. Uh, nobody can tell you how you're gonna be happy so that is my mm, that has been my my guided uh, my guiding my, the light guiding my my way I always thought that at some point either or I, I will leave this planet um, you know it will feel like a failure or if I will not live with this planet because there was some sort of voice that speak in my brain and spoke in my brain and told me you're gonna do something great you you should stay here you just like should step back and and step into your power and uh, i always remember that voice and and that was i will tell them just uh look for that inside of you that is telling you that you should step into your power because it's there waiting for you without a tagline you know without uh society telling you who you are you are more than that you think you are in and, and, and it's all gonna reveal when you give your, your when you allow yourself to be happy so that's that's uh, i think the first step that uh, i first advice that i will give for transgender people and you asked me the second question for anybody that have thought about suicide right 
Okay. So for that, um, well, definitely, um, when you think about that, and I haven't thought it for a lot. I was very, I was very young. I was probably like 11 or 12 years when I thought about that uh, right away, and I wanted to do it without even thinking or talking about it. Um, so it's quite because of many years uh, really suffering at school and all that. I thought life was gonna be like that. Like life's gonna was gonna suck, and I was like, well, if life is gonna suck this way, then I don't wanna. I don't want to. I don't want to continue. You know, like if it's already, if it's already um, such a mess at this age, you know, then what's the purpose? You know, what's the what's what's this for? So I mean, that's what uh, crossed my mind at that time. But there was a voice that talked to me, like I say, that say I should stop it because I was gonna grow and change people's life. I had that voice inside of me, stop me. And I become obsessive with that idea o of really becoming a better self and, and helping other people. Um, took, it has took me several years <laughs> now from there. It took me several years, but um, it's, a, it's a beautiful path. And um, what I will say definitely is uh, when you are that, at that point, it's because mm, your life hasn't been the way you wished or you have seen yourself living so uh, your dreams and your and, and your expectations are very far from what you see from the reality and what we know now and it's science is that we create our own reality I would say believe that it's possible for you to create what you want mm, absolutely thank you so much for sharing Simple. I mean I can say many things but wow this is really powerful yeah. and you know like i feel like if someone is already at this point where they have suicidal thoughts it's also because they feel lonely in one or the other way they they lack this connection they lack someone to talk to they lack because mm, you know if you have someone to connect for example if you at the time had a best friend that like your absolute best friends and you love each other so much and you knew that if you do that then it would create massive suffering for this person right then you would not be so keen to do that if you had only at least one person who would you feel who you would feel like extremely connected to i believe at least because you know i'm the connection catalyst so maybe my perspective is completely skewed because i'm all about connection um but i really believe that if someone doesn't feel lonely in their state of being because their state of being suck right it sucks it's when people talk about killing themselves it means that something in their life really sucks but if they can share it with someone if there is someone to listen to them to hold space for them to actually go there release these emotions and so on then i don't feel like we would have so many suicidal people around if all these people got some help if all these people got some connection from other people and that's why i really believe in um, things like lifeline or i don't know how it's called like where you can call you know the the hotline for suicidal people where they can call and really like uh, express themselves because i really believe that if you just like find this connection and slowly find more and more positive things in your life just slowly start thinking more positive thoughts then you can get out of it right but it's um yeah, it's a big, big topic. I feel like even after a pandemic and during pandemic, it was a big theme because like people, I feel like the suicide rate got crazy, right? Because people were just like alone even more than before because that's that's what pandemic, pandemic created, separation, loneliness and so on. So I feel like it's really crucial to talk about these things. Um, but we were talking about, it just uh, ended that, okay, so there is all of attraction. So even if you are in, in your darkest place, through utilizing the law of attraction, you can actually get out of the situation and start attracting better and better things into your life. And uh, it's pretty funny that you uh, mentioned law of attraction because literally I'm in the middle of reading Abraham Hicks. I'm not sure if you know uh, this uh, this person. Oh, perfect. I'm just reading. I'm just reading one of uh, one of her books, uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's all about the law of attraction and how mm -hmm. it all works. So I wanted to ask you because there is so much out there about the law of attraction and how it works and how it doesn't work. Uh, I'm really curious about your perspective on it because you know I feel like everyone has a little bit different perspective on this topic. Yeah, for sure. So the thing is that uh, I really. Mm, oh, I have to say that the point you say about the connection and all that, reaching out to another person and, uh, you know, just getting some love and, and being able to express your truth, you know, somehow, 
it's very liberating and, and it moves you forward. It's very important that we, we reach out, we, we talk from the heart, you know, it's very important connections and, and, and express yourself instead of like um, just keeping yourself, like just keeping everything to yourself. It's very important to reach out and, and, and express and liberate your emotions and all that. So, so that's, that's nice that you share it. Um, so, well, coming back to, to law of attraction. So, well, I, I, I started hearing about the law of attraction in 2007 when uh, I was in Malaga and, um, and the book came out, The Secrets, you know, <laughs> so, so many people, you probably have read it, right? Uh, I believe many people have read the book. Uh, so the secret, uh, I started like taking a look at it, uh, but it didn't, it caught my attention, but not so much that I could read it all and get into it, but it, it just like stayed in my brain, stayed at the, the, to uh, the back of my brain, just had that note, like there is something, you, you probably at some point you're going to find out, you know, <laughs> I was uh, in that searching for the truth, how to become better, like obsessive, you know with everything that will come to my hand, just like to improve and, and improve my life, improve myself, help other people, you know. Uh, specifically, more to help myself to become that person that is able to 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 be, you know, the, the best version of yourself, um, make worth it right, you know, just because uh, writing because of, of, of nothing, you know, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, uh, I think it doesn't have like uh, the motivation to, to move forward. So, well, I, I read about the secret a little bit, and then, like I said, I had that in the, in the back of my brain. And then somehow, I, I had like my feelings and my, and my soul and, and my body and everything was really wanting to believe it was true, even though I really didn't believe that that was true or I didn't have the knowledge or something, but I, I had the feeling that I, I wanted to believe, you know, that it was true. I was gonna, if it was true, I was gonna get everything that I wanted, you know, at some point, somehow, you know, but I, I always will feel about it and then my brain will be like, okay, whatever, don't, don't think, don't believe it because we still have to do actions and life, you know, there's difficult paths and I don't know, it, it was, it was kind of weird. Uh, but then as I, it started happening, you know, uh, like I say, uh, after the secret and there was a, a little bit of a mm, dark period in my life where I had to re get rid of a toxic relationship. I don't like to call it toxic relationship. It was like my learning experience, a big learning experience for me. And I have to really started to love myself better. As I have been doing it for a while, but then it was a turning point when I had to do it like even more instead, um, you know, in order for me to leave this relationship and, and to move, uh, to another level in my life. I feel that level was was really not at the level that I wanted to be at that time. So I was like in my 27 or something like that. I wanted to, I feel like I deserve better. I have that, I have that feeling, <laughs> you know. And now, right now that I, I'm more like, well, I don't consider myself like an expert, but of course I'm, I'm very more, um, you know, um, familiarize with a concept and I have uh, seen the results and all that and I have thought about this uh, law of attraction thing. Um, I, th I thought that I deserve better feeling. It moves energy in the universe. It, it moves all the energies uh, for the universe to conspire in my favor, you know, and to move me and to take me out of where I was, out of that relationship, uh, out of that, uh, this country, out of my work, out of everything. And all of a sudden, I met uh, the lady that was going to um, marry the United States and, and after that, almost a decade in the United States. And I studied there and I learned about the law of attraction and I know in person Esther Hicks and, 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 and you know, Joy Vitale was there too when I was living in the same place almost, you know, like neighbor. And I get along with all these people where I learned meditation, visualization. Uh, I mean, it has been an amazing ride <laughs> from where I was to where I just went to like uh, the origins of this, is all these people and like, like I say, it has been, I, I've, I don't know, I just, I just found it, you know, it's like the universe that granted for me, and say, okay, if you want it and you think you deserve better, here you are. And, and I know, you know, I know that we all have a soul purpose and when we come to the, come to earth, we decide of the, 
many of the events that we're gonna um, we're gonna do in order to to achieve our purpose and and to help uh, the world to to expand into the new world and the new humanity that we're creating so all the events just took me to to all this and 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 i know those points were very interest were very important for me to to integrate them and i'm grateful and um and now i'm back to share this with you and all these people that uh, still hear this is real not real i'm telling everybody that it's real because i have i have achieved almost any uh, almost all of my dreams since I, since I started you know in my childhood and my and what I was dreaming I wanted to be first thing I wanted to be a masculine man you know I I, I saw myself uh, you know riding a big Harley on the route 66 and I have done it <laughs> and I'm here you know and I'm I really I'm so happy every day um, I'm grateful for that it might it might seem like really nothing to someone else that had that for all their life like keyboard and all that but for me it's like the biggest present and of course i i've been having other things but i don't want to like start uh, saying all the all the things um you know and in order i just i just like to share that that is true that i'm grateful and that is possible for all of us it is real it is it's always applying it doesn't matter if you believe it or not and um and, it, and if you know how to do or not you we're always creating so we can create what we want or we can create what is more more convenient even what we don't want you know but we are we are constantly creating not every minute with every thought but what's predominantly what is in our minds and in our emotions is going to manifest and um mm, totally i agree i agree with that and i i see the law of attraction play out in my life massively like i can uh, have i have so many different manifestation stories about how it just uh, comes about but i feel like there is also a lot of um let's say myths about the law of attraction because for example a lot of people in the secret like there was not mm, any mention of like hey you don't only of course it's all about your thoughts and emotions but there is also subconscious mind and so you might not know what thoughts your subconscious mind is thinking while you're thinking your conscious thoughts as well right so to me it seemed like secret is very mm, yeah positive focus yeah let's just you know think of positive thoughts and everything is gonna come and probably it will over time but i feel like for me on my journey at first i was very positively focused but then doing shadow work going into the subconscious mind reprogramming the subconscious beliefs was actually way faster and more effective when it comes to even attracting what i want in my life because then you eradicate all these oppositional forces within you all these beliefs like i don't deserve this i'm not enough or whatever else that your subconscious is playing out and i feel like a lot of people maybe don't um know this because they are trying to focus positively but sometimes with the positive thought if they for example desire something and they focus on what they desire but actually their subconscious mind is saying oh but you don't deserve this oh but it's never gonna come oh but your family will never accept this whatever else it is there then there is still resistance within you that you can overcome and of course the more you're gonna feel okay i got this i got this i got this then the more you're gonna attract this experience to your life because this is how it works but also i feel like there is a big shortcut if you do belief work if you do shadow work if you actually dive into this resistance right and you can do it through so many different uh, methods and and so on and so did you find also that the faster way to attract what you want is through doing the subconscious mind work Totally, totally. I guess it's, it's, it's so important what you have shared. It's the main point. I feel like in many people that talk about law of attraction and even the secret so much, Esther Hicks is pretty good. She's on top. She's, she's right on top of, of the main thing. Um, you know, when she shares about uh, it's, it's, it's the feeling, it's the feeling essentially, mainly, and not just the, the positive affirmation and you can even do... I mean, all works, uh, all, all, all helps. I mean, the visualization, the affirmation, the, the, the action, of course, not just uh, all that the passive things. It's the action part, very important. But uh, the thing is that the subconscious and the shadow work to give light to where the emotions are not exactly supporting our wish. Because uh, if I have the belief that I'm not good enough, you know, I can be saying like for a hundred million times, I, I deserve uh, the best life, I deserve 
uh, to have a lot of money, I deserve to have a great family, but I, if I if don't feel good enough, I don't feel deserving, then the emotion is, a, is, is contradicting that, and at some point it's gonna block it. As I was saying, for the law of attraction, uh, there are some people that uh, they have talked about the positive thinking, the visualization, everything helps, affirmation and everything, but if there is a contradiction in the emotion and the way we feel, that's deep down our subconscious, subconscious mind, and uh, usually deep down ourselves is like how we feel about ourselves, the experiences that we have and get rid of the shadow that you talk about and we haven't still deal with it for calling somehow then it's gonna be counteracting it's gonna be really uh for saying somehow blocking it uh because the energy won't match the symphony of let's say the frequency that is, that is the vibration of your dreams and your desires if your vibration is lower then your your dream and your goals are here but you're, you're, you're down here. So we need to work on the shadow, on the deserving part of the subconscious uh, thoughts that we have. Uh, sometimes we don't even know that we have them. And uh, so that's very interesting. That's why um, I think the type of work that you do or I do, like the coaching, the hypnosis and all that, um, if someone doesn't know what is happening to them and why they're not able to manifest, of course, we, of course we don't manifest 24 7 and everything we want and right away there is a process and um, usually um, it takes a time for you to complete the process to become the person that is deserving of what you want so i i always wanted to be the person that will help everybody and i wanted to help them but i didn't have the tools and I haven't helped myself still. So when you are not, when you're not that person, even though you have the desire and the goal, the universe holds back. It's like, okay, you want this, but you're not ready. So they are, it's very interesting how it works. Even though I might want to push to get rid of the limited beliefs and the emotion in that, it is a process. Sometimes, of course, it helps that someone guide you if you haven't figured out exactly where you are at the process. And, and, and maybe even what you want, because in, in I think these are main points that are really very important. You have to have for like 100% clarity on what you want. You have to be very, very, very certain on what you want. No. And then that's the main thing. And, and, and the work that you need to do to become the person that is deserving of what you want and if you are you're going to sustain that whatever you 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 want so now i mean i wish for for being this person that be able to become a very similar person that i am right now the identity that i am and uh, the one that will be able to help other people and, and spread you know uh, so well the thing is that for the law of attraction sometimes as the universe works, that's how I've learned, uh, like I said, I've been uh, following Esther Hicks for several years. She's my, she has been my inspiration and in the, in the growth in, in this matter. And the application also of the results, I, I've been following her for forever. Like when she lives in San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> and that was uh, my ex-wife is from San Antonio, Texas. So <laughs> for all the Texas people, you <laughs> just if you're listening to this, so yeah i mean it has been an amazing journey where i was like okay i want this i want that and and the experience is like maybe the, the the and i was like oh i i have been asking for this and all of a sudden i get this thing in my life that i've i've never really wanted or deserved like i don't think i have manifest this why is this coming to me you know and they're like okay there's something is something wrong here i'm doing something wrong I'm probably I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to do or, or maybe I don't even know what I want. Some, there is something. So what I find out, and this is like a learning process every day, um, but of course I, I am in a better position now to talk about this, uh, that, <laughs> you know, that the thing is that the universe holds, 
holds on to what you deserve until you become the person that is deserving, but really deserving. But deserving is not that because I am beautiful and I am so uh, glamorous and all that, I deserve. No, it's not that, you know? So the deserving is, of course, there are several points that they have to be met. First of all, I have get rid at a certain point to the shadow that has stopped me from believing that I can do what I have to do in order to achieve the goal. So that's the first thing. And, and the energy and the emotion is totally believed that it's done for me. And it is done because I want it so much. I have worked and I have done my path. I have integrated it. So I'm just waiting for it to come. I am not even waiting because I know it's already there for me. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm here with the door open. I know you're coming. So you, you're, you're showing up. I'm just, uh, the door is open. You may take five minutes, 50 minutes. I don't care. I know, I know you're, you're already here. So, and, and you have that, you have that belief in that when you get rid of all many fears and doubts and negative thinking and all that, because when you have all those things, when you have all the negative and, and all the bad emotions and, and all the limitations, and of course, it's so difficult that you will feel, okay, it's coming, it's there for me, I just have to do my part and like open the door and receive it, you know? It's like, okay. And you have that really bad, bad feelings about yourself and what is happening around you. So that's definitely gonna block the whole thing. So if you're for sure knowing that is yours you relax and do your part of course you have to do your part that's the action part is very important because nothing in this material world happened without moving without us moving a finger so that's that's because i hear many people that okay you just wish for it and you write it and then you and and, and you visualize it then you 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 feel like it's it's coming okay yeah everything that's fantastic you know, and the the wheel of uh, there is Esther Hicks talk about the the root the wheel of um, of the what's ah oh, sorry what's the name of you know the name of the wheel Esther Hicks talk about. So you 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 draw a wheel, and in that wheel, in the middle is what you think you deserve, you your biggest dream, and it, around it is all the emotions and everything that you think that you deserve that is taking you to the main dream and that moves, right? So, and moves the energy. So the thing is that before I even achieve the thing, and maybe everybody think, okay, you think you are right now on top of your career and enjoying your family, and you're, you have financial freedom, and you are awesome, and your life is awesome. Well, but I don't see that yet, you know? That's what Sister Skis talk about. I love how she explains, like, you don't see it yet, and then you think, okay, and then what is happening? I want it now, I want it tomorrow, I want it like yesterday, but that's a, it doesn't matter. If you, if you are so sure that what you want, it is 100% sure that it's the only thing that you deserve and you're going for it and you're becoming that person, the universe will have nothing else to say that, yes, I will grant it for you at a perfect time. So. Are you ready now? And, in, and whenever it's coming, you have to be ready. So I don't care if it's today, if it's like five minutes, 10 minutes, like, okay, I'm ready. Like, I'm, I'm totally up for it. What do you need me to do? Like, I have that emotion, you know? And then at some point, it's like, oh my God, it's coming so fast, you know? When you, when you totally connect those dots. Mm, yes, I totally agree. And it's about the the stress versus relaxation, I feel, because if you're worried, if you're fearful, if you're doubtful, then you're in stress, then you're tense, and then you don't open up all these channels in your body, energy meridians, or whatever you want to call it, you don't relax, so you don't allow this whole energy of abundance flowing into you, a new energy flowing into you. So you need to relax first. And as you said, if you know that something is coming, you would be relaxed, you wouldn't just like every five minutes, look at your clock, if a friend was uh, said that he, he will visit you for sure a hundred percent you wouldn't just like sit impatiently on the sofa like when is he gonna come when is he gonna come if you knew that he's coming for sure right you would just like relax have your tea i don't know do some meditation or whatever and you would just uh, patiently wait although i read about patience today actually in the book uh, of uh, abraham hicks and it said that there is no 
need for patients when you actually like uh, manifest in this way because uh, the patients in the case that you need to wait and the things have to take long to manifest but they don't actually have to if you know how to manifest them from a pure positive place and pure openness but i guess that's uh that's you know the hard um pill to swallow in a way because in order to be fully open and fully receptive it sometimes takes practice and it's okay completely and uh, so you know for people who who to start with manifesting they can just start with little steps and then build the confidence in manifestation i feel yeah for sure for sure for sure that's totally that's the truth i mean the thing about Esther hicks and her energy is totally outstanding when i was in her seminar in houston I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I love this woman. And the energy of the people that were there, they're all biggest manifestors. They're like, the, you, oh, I was surrounded by people that I was like, this is unbelievable. Like they were all following Esther Hicks for eight years. And many of years have achieved their goals and dreams. And they're like following her. And, and, and they, they think like everything is possible. Like these type of people, they were, they was a small group of people. Don't think it was like a lot of people. It was like, a, not so much. I, you won't believe but the energy was so high, like you can feel it, the high vibes, it was predominantly, it was strong and, and it was awesome. Like I said, I was at, at the very, very, I needed that energy because I was like growing in my energy, but I feel like, wow, this is what I wanted to be. I feel like I belong to this energy. And, uh, and you know what? It's very interesting what you say, the patience, yes, because what, there is another level of manifestation, but everybody that is getting used to the love attraction needs to, well, needs, I mean, you can try, figure it out by yourself, but what I recommend is that you start, start little by little, getting familiarized with what you need to do. Because if there are like still limiting beliefs and a lot of emotions that you don't even recognize in yourself, and like even you don't know what you want maybe, for sure. Because if, if someone asks you, you know, okay, you believe in law of attraction, you are creating what you want. Okay, well, tell me what you want. Tell me exactly and precisely what you want, you know? And then if you're like, uh, I don't really know, you know, maybe I think I want, then of course that energy is definitely not at the intensity, you know, that it needs to be. But that's okay because we all start at a certain point at, at, at that, at that uh, I mean, at that uh, stance of, of the way, right? So the thing is that first thing is to get clear on what you want. That's like the first step. And, and uh, Napoleon Hill, you may probably have heard about the Think and Grow Rich, this book where he talks about, you know, as the, it's, it's from the 40s or the 50s, he has interviewed all these millionaires and all these people that have uh, achieved a level of success in their life. And the first step, first step, nothing else, Get clear on what you want. And, and that's like, don't even advance anything if you don't even know what you want, for sure. Uh, so of course, anybody that is listening to this and they're like, okay, I'm creating the life of my dreams and I'm getting, okay, for get, get real on what you want, get clear. And then of course, uh, everything is gonna come along. I feel like uh, the universe is always helping us out and, and uh, pushing us, you know? When you think I cannot move any, I cannot move anymore, I, I am very close to get it, to achieving, but I'm like, oh my God, the, I feel tired of like pushing and trying and getting this and that, but it's not exactly what I want. And you're like almost, almost quitting, you know? And then the universe is like, here you have this presence. Don't quit. You know you want it. You know you deserve it. And just hold on a little bit because it's coming, you know? Like it, so that's like another step when you're a little bit more in the evolution of all this knowledge. It's, it's beautiful to see when you really want something, the universe conspire, specifically when you have been pushing, pushing and doing your part, and at some point you're like, okay, oof, this is like, I want, I'm continuing, but I'm like, oh my God, I will need some help, you know? <laughs> and then the universe <laughs> is like, okay, here you go, keep going. <laughs> Amazing. I love everything that you shared. This is really, really cool. I have one uh, quick little question to you. What is the best way to find you, find your content and maybe to uh, reach out to you if someone would really like to work with you? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you, you asked that. That's really being on top of the things. Uh, so my website is uh, www.borjajas.com. 
are uh, J A Y A S dot com. That's my name. And I'm also on Instagram and LinkedIn with the same name, Borja Jazz. Or you will say Borja, Borja Jazz in English. Okay. <laughs> so Perfect. I, will be, I, I will be happy to, to come uh, to interact with any, anybody that will want to learn about law of attraction or want to get rid of uh, limiting beliefs and, and past trauma. Because uh, it's all that it takes, like leave the old you and become the new you. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much uh, for being on this podcast and sharing your wisdom with us. I'm super grateful and uh, thank you for showing up and for sharing yourself. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. You deserve, uh, you deserve uh, all the, like I said, the admiration for you, because I know it takes, it takes a lot of energy to create this space for everybody to share their things. And it has provided me the space to open up. I think it's amazing. Like I said, I haven't opened up so much. Uh, like today, you know, so it's awesome. I have you have uh, incredible energy, and I deserve I des desire a lot of success for your space and and yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's really really kind of you.